Hey everybody, welcome to another gnarly lesson time. I want to talk about schema evolution and how it relates to Apache Iceberg, although schema evolution is a feature of all uh, modern table formats. So that's a pretty amazing thing when you think about it, because in the past, this was not a feature that was available on the data lake, um, now the data lake house, um, because what would happen is that the schema was just in the files, basically in older versions of data lake tables, it was just the files in your folder that was the table so basically if you wanted to change the schema to change you know the data type of a particular column the name of a particular column what you'd have to do is pretty much rewrite all the files so that way it, it they had the new schema they had the new the new way but now in modern table formats like apache iceberg um, the schema is a metadata thing okay it's not necessarily how the data is written i mean it can be the data was there was a schema when the data was originally written, but that schema may have changed. And whatever the current schema is, is tracked in the tables of metadata files, which allows an engine to then coerce the data that it reads in the data files into that engine. Okay. Now generally things like Apache Iceberg have have details as far as like what kind of updates you can make to the schema. So that way it's something that engines can coerce. Uh, into, you know, that way your changes can still apply to older data uh, successfully. But the bottom line is you can up, you can add columns, you can delete columns, you can rename columns, change data types. You can do all the schema changes you need um, without having to rewrite entire tables, which is great when you're working at petabyte scale. Okay, this whole idea of being able to evolve your table without rewriting your table matters quite a bit. And then you get your data back with the right schema um, and so forth. So I'll uh, leave it at that. It's a pretty cool feature that matters a whole bunch. Again, these are things that we take for granted in databases and data warehouses because all that is just abstracted away from us. But being able to do it in some place like the data lake, again, allows you to get the benefits of the flexibility, the lower cost. Um, and when I say flexibility, you know, I really mean like sort of you can use that data in lots of places. Like you're not stuck using one tool or one set of tools because you're in a particular locked box. You're in this open space that many tools can access. And that's, that's where you get that flexibility from. And that space is also oftentimes very cheaper because you're not in a locked box. So you get these benefits in your analytical uh, infrastructure. So I will see you soon.